Once upon a time, in a certain country, there lived a beautiful, gentle girl. Oh, <laughs> oh, father, look how tame he's become. Yes, my dear, animals soon recognize kindness in people. <laughs> when she was just a little girl, her mother died. Her father remarried, and now she lived with her stepmother and two stepsisters who were very jealous of her beauty and were cruel and spiteful to her when her father wasn't there. Oh, mother! <laughs> but she never complained to her father because she didn't want to worry him. However, one day her father suddenly died and she came under the complete control of her stepmother and two stepsisters. Now she was forced to work from early in the morning until late at night. Her two stepsisters gave her the name Cinderella because she used to sit near the cinders in the fireplace in her shabby clothes. <laughs> yes, that's true. Last night's ball was really magnificent. That's because you fall in love with the Count's eldest son. What do you mean? He has fallen in love with me. Oh, really? Of course. I'd make an ideal wife for a nobleman. <laughs> Cinderella? Yes, Mother? While we're having our meal, Cinderella, hurry up and finish the washing. Yes. She really ought to do everything without having to be told by Mother. What an inconsiderate girl. When you finish the washing, there's a table to be cleared. When her father died, Cinderella's stepmother took away all her beautiful dresses and gave them to her own daughters. Cinderella had to wear old, shabby clothes and live in a wretched attic room. <laughs> One day, there was an announcement from the palace that the prince would give a ball and the most beautiful of the young girls who were invited would become the prince's wife. Oh, it's marvellous. We won't get another chance like this. Oh, how lucky we are. Oh, thank you, dear Lord. Right, we must get ready. We've only got ten days until the ball. I'm going to have the most beautiful dress made. I'm going to buy the best cosmetics. Now, you both must bathe in milk every day. Oh, we're going to be so busy. Cinderella? Yes, Mother? Stop daydreaming. Hurry up and get the dressmaker and the beautician to come over here. Yes. Come on, hurry up. Yes. Cinderella was now, of course, even busier than before. And at last, the day of the ball came. Cinderella, make sure you clean the whole house and have our supper waiting for us by the time we get back. Yes, Mother. In fact, Cinderella wanted to go to the ball too. Oh, the poor girl. Cinderella, if you do as I tell you, you'll be able to go to the ball. First, fetch me a pumpkin from the garden. Then, two little mice and finally a lizard. But why do we need... I'm your fairy godmother and I'm going to help you with my magic. Now, hurry up. Yes. You've got everything I asked for. Let's get on with it. There.
that's just like a dream. Only it isn't a dream. What a beautiful dress. Oh, oh, I've forgotten something. I mustn't be careless if we're going to make you into a beautiful princess, must I? Right. There. Try them on, dear. They're beautiful and a perfect fit. Thank you. Right. You must hurry up and go to the palace. Yes. Oh, Cinderella, I've forgotten one very important thing. When the clock strikes 12, the magic will lose its strength. What? Lose its strength? Yes, my dear, everything will be as it was before. So you must leave before midnight. Yes. Remember, don't forget. <laughs> Another guest! Isn't she pretty? Your Highness! Simply lovely. Shall we? What a beautiful young girl. I think our son has fallen for her already. Well, I think she's very nice. So do I, my dear. I wonder where she came from. And it was my turn to dance, too. And apart from these three guests, everybody else admired Cinderella's beauty. And Cinderella was so happy dancing with the prince that she completely forgot what time it was. <gasps> Twelve o'clock! What's the matter? Oh no, I'm sorry. Princess! Oh no! And so Cinderella just managed to leave the ball before the clock finished striking twelve. But the prince couldn't stop himself thinking about Cinderella. She must be here somewhere. Well, I'll find her. And so the prince decided to make Cinderella his wife, no matter how difficult it was to find her. The prince ordered his soldiers to search the kingdom and find the young girl whose foot fit the glass slipper. However, there wasn't one single girl whose foot would fit the glass slipper. Finally, the prince's soldiers arrived at Cinderella's house. Your foot's just too big. Right, who's next? Now, whatever you do, just get your foot into the slipper. Right, Mother. Oh, ow! I'm afraid your foot's too big as well. No, wait a moment. I'm just not putting it on right. Uh. Oh, <clears throat> ow! Oh, it's no good. I'm afraid. Haven't you got any other daughters? No, I've only got these two. Hmm. Ah, ah! You over there? Come and try the slipper on. What nonsense! You don't think this dirty girl went to the ball, do you? Well, our orders are to try the slipper on every girl in the kingdom. 
Right, come over here, please. So you were the girl that night? Yes. No, it's impossible. No, it isn't. It's all true. There. Oh. 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 Come on, Cinderella. Go to the palace. This time the magic is blessed. So it will continue working even after 12. Oh, thank you. And that was the end of all Cinderella's unhappy suffering. And she began her new life as the prince's wife.